We have this big backlog of like spaces that we want to visit and build at some point. And the moon has been on that list for a long time. In our earlier maps, our lead environment artist Easter egg did this like super city on the moon. It's up there, you can kind of see this little like twinkling city in the sky. We were always inspired by the fact that Overwatch was a universe future enough and expanded enough that there could be a colony on the moon. And I think for me, like my favorite maps are the ones that have like a strong story hook and a strong character hook where you can kind of see people's origins or backstories. And so when we had the opportunity, we were talking about what map we might be interested in making. Uh, the Horizon Lunar Colony shot up right to the top of the list and uh, now we finally get to get a look at where Winston came from. There were a couple elements from the recall animated short that we wanted to make sure to capture in the map because we knew players saw those moments and wanted to relive them for themselves. We see Winston's dormitory that, you know, where he was first interacting in the cinematic with Dr. Winston. And that really sets up the next moment, which is the beautiful telescope room. Well, see for yourself. With those amazing doors that open up, seeing it for the first time and imagining all of the wonder that lies down there. In this map, one of the things we wanted to do was start to show some of the, the beats of the story that caused Winston to leave the colony and head to Earth. Somewhere along the line, something started to go wrong. Gorillas were being experimented on, and ultimately, the gorillas took over the Horizon Lunar Colony. One room over here, everything's nice and organized. The next room over, tables are overturned, and there's footprints. Almost like a forensic detective walking into a scene and, and trying to reconstruct what happened. As we're developing a, a, a new map, there's a lot of back and forth between all the members of the team. All of us talk a lot about what kind of things we'd like to see on the moon. Like, oh, wouldn't it be awesome to see the hydroponics uh, bay where they're growing food or the oxygen scrubbers? Or let's see where the gorillas were trained. We really like doing maps that have something to do with the heroes of our game because we get to explore where they came from. We'll start playing the map every day as much as we can. Then once we have the space down, is when we'll kind of shift over into getting art in here that will tell the stories that we want to do in the map. I call it playing dollhouse because we're just we have this whole toy box of like sofas and computers, and we'll start testing out these little pockets of props, and that's my favorite thing. <laughs> it's the first map we build that is 90% indoors. We tried a lot of new elements in this map because we wanted to not only experiment with new gameplay types, but also refine the current gameplay that exists in Assault Maps right now. We have these airlock doors that you just run up to and they automatically unlock and open. You'll have a Reinhardt charge and he's going to charge this door and it has to instantly open. The low gravity area is going to be pretty fun for the audience. Uh, it's something we've never done before. I hope we get to do it again. We really didn't want that low gravity kind of feel to steal away anything that makes competitive uh, really fun on the map. See ya! We are absolutely looking to the community to determine how to tune and balance these maps. We're going to be doing a lot of analysis to determine what we should do next. It's super fun right now, and we're just going to continue to try and refine it and make it as cool and as fun as possible.